bring you greetings and best wishes from the President of the Republic of Uganda, who is aware that we are here today. Uh, join me also to congratulate our President and the NRM government and all of you Ugandans for successfully hosting the NAM and the G77 plus China conferences. These were global conferences, and I want to assure you it wouldn't have been possible if we did not have uh, the UPDF behind us. So I want to thank you. Today marks the beginning of the busy week of activities to be carried out by UPDF. This, is the, this busy week, which is known as Tarei Sita and Defense Forces Week, will be observed in the districts of Bugiri, Bugweri, Buyende Iganga, Jinja Kariro, Kamuliruka, Mayuge, Namaingo, Namutumba, and Jinja City, as already uh, mentioned. It will be marked under the theme celebrating the people's struggle for unity, security, and peace for social economic transformation. Today, I stand for you to express my solidarity with you, the UPDF, who have, who have faithfully and uh, resolutely defended our sovereignty. You have paid the ultimate sacrifice of defending human security and consolidating our revolutionary gains. You have been loyal, strategic partners since the years of Fronesa in the 1970s and NRA in the 1980s. It is pleasing to note that UPDF has not forgotten the support it received from the population that made it possible for a small guerrilla force to transform itself into a formidable liberation force. The achievements this liberation force has registered clearly demonstrate the struggle was not in vain. Let us therefore remember the darker days of this country when there seemed to be no hope as Uganda was seen as the most failed state characterized by unspeakable human rights abuses ranging from rape, rooting, and mass murder. This situation caused massive dislocations and poverty which are now history. UPDF is a non-partisan force, national in character, patriotic, professional, disciplined, productive, and subordinate to the civilian authority as established by the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda. As we recognize, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, as we recognize the functions for which UPDF was founded with the following mandate. One, preserving and defending the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Uganda. Cooperating with the civilian authority in situations of emergency and natural disasters. Number three, fostering harmony and understanding between the defense forces and civilians. Number four, engaging in productive activities for the development of Uganda. The participation of UPDF in the national development projects 
is in line with its constitutional mandate. The ongoing participation of UPDF Engineering Brigade in the building of infrastructure projects for ministries, departments, and agencies shows the long strides the force has taken in the direction of being a productive force. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, join me to commend the UPDF for remaining steadfast in maintaining this character. Please join me. In It is pleasing to know that this pro-people principle has enabled the UPDF to also become a regional stabilizing force or factor. To this effect, we wish to pay special gratitude to the revolutionaries and, uh, and our strategic partners, as well as the civilian population for the great contribution you have made during the years of the protracted struggle. Allow me, on behalf of government, to thank His Excellency President Yoweri Kaguta Museven, the Commander-in-Chief of the UPDF, the members of the UPDF family, and the Ministry of Defense and Veteran Affairs for having chosen to reflect on a journey of fighting for freedom spanning over 50 years. Please let us thank the President. My presence here today is evidence of our shared interest and commitment to further enhance the unity of sections of our society so as to take care of our common security for our common good. On behalf of government, once again, His Excellency, the President, the Chief Executive of this country, and the Cabinet, we pledge to support the UPDF to continue the process of professionalizing itself in order to accomplish its mandate. I am glad to learn that during this year's Defense Forces activities, UPDF chose to undertake a symbolic civilian civil military cooperation projects in all the districts of Usoga sub-region as a token of appreciation for the support our army has enjoyed from the people of Usoga in particular and the country generally. The engineering projects, the medical outreach programs, and the cleaning of public places will go a long way to cement the relationship between UPDF, the NRM government, and the people. I've also been informed that uh, an ideological orientation seminar has been organized for men, women, and youth leaders to share experiences and discuss pertinent issues affecting the well-being of our people in the Soga sub region. Choosing to include ideological orientation interactions between UPDF and members of the fishing community in the Tarai Sita program is a wonderful idea that will further enhance harmony between the two. I want to also um, inform you when you talked about this, I felt like I needed also to join you in this. I promise to spare a day to be with you so that together we can do this noble function. Ladies and gentlemen, and all Ugandans out there, we have been keenly following the UPDF commitment towards 
peace and stability. It is because of this stability that the people can now travel from Koboko to Kotido, from Busia to Kisoro, from Kampala to Kakumi. to do their own businesses in a day without any disruptions. As His Excellency, the President has noted, this is the first time in the 500 years uh, this has become possible. The UPDF has therefore uh, received praise from even the members of the opposition because of its great work, like construction of Entebbe International Airport. Yeah. You, the members of the UPDF, have been the frontline warriors who have assisted in the management of natural disasters and pandemics like COVID-19. I remember how you people helped us to fight the locusts when it invaded our country. Thank you so much. The locust commander is around. Let him, let him, be, let him be given a big applause. And the Prime Minister at a later time will see how to do the handshake. <laughs> Not only has UPDF made Uganda a transformed society, but, is also, it has, but it is also contributing to the regional stability, like many other people have said. There is evidence of transformation and social recovery in the country. And we are proud of your contribution to these efforts, especially the office of the Prime Minister. Today is your day. Allow me, therefore, to extend my most sincere appreciation to you once again the officers and the militants of UPDF, and to congratulate you upon these achievements and for exhibiting humility in your leadership in a stressful, uh, sometimes stressful situations. I wish UPDF a great week of success. When we go to Bugweri for the climax, of that week of activities on 6 February 2024, we will be celebrating the completion of your civil military cooperation projects. With these words, now I now uh, launch the 2024 Tarai Sita activities and the Defense Forces Week. I wish you a happy 43rd anniversary celebrations for God and my country.